Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Kagam and welcome to this Cartier um, shopping vlog. Um, so I wanted to yeah share the experience of shopping at the Cartier Boutique at the um, Champs-Élysées in Paris, France. Um, if you're in the email newsletter, I've already told you what's happened, um, but I wanted to just kind of talk about my experience there. I bought something, but you'll see that in the unboxing next week, and I tried on some other pieces. By now, you, su you should have seen um, the footage, I beg your pardon, um, of some of the things that I tried on and saw. It was a very interesting experience. It's not the way... Um, I thought it was. Coincidentally, Cartier is the only place that asked me if I wanted to sit down um, and if I wanted to have something to drink. But of course, that was after I said I was going to like look and want, I wanted to try things on and buy stuff. So after going to Big H George Sank Boutique, after leaving the George Sank Boutique, I walked um, to um, Cartier, which is just like a five, six, seven minute walk um, from the Big H George Sank location. Um, and then I get there and I just dropped in. I didn't have an appointment or anything. And we'll talk about appointments later because I think it's actually a very relevant point. And um, the security guard opens the door and then he um, shows me to my right. And they're like two greeters there. They're both women. And they're like, you know, hello. And I'm like, hi. And then they're like, you know, do you want to try things on today? Or are you just looking? I was like, well, I want to try things on. I want to get something. They're like, okay just look around <laughs> and then one of them looked at my belly because <laughs> so I was wearing a dress um, that was quite tight so you could see that I was pregnant you could tell I'm pregnant um, and she looked at my belly she's like do you want to sit down I'm like yeah <laughs> do you have something to drink I'm like yeah so I had Perrier so then I sat down while I was waiting for the um, essay to be um, assigned to me um, and then she was assigned to me she's a, a woman essay and um, at first, I don't know, at first I just kind of felt like she was kind of like, uh, you know, she seemed a little like, like, I don't know, you, even the greeter asked me what lines I'm interested in. Before I could even see an essay, they ask you like what you're interested in. Like, are you interested in the love collection? I said the love collection and just on clue um, collection, you know, and I was like, I'm looking for bracelets and rings. Um, and then... Um, then when I was assigned the essay, she, at first I think she was kind of like aloof with me. She didn't seem, I don't know, I, I think maybe she was worried I wasn't going to buy anything. Of course, like a location like the Champs-Élysées Cartier, there are going to be a lot of people just coming and looking. And honestly, guys, there's nothing wrong with looking. Um, my general vibe, though, about browsing is like I feel like it's easier to browse in department stores just because in department stores, they get so many people um, who um, are just looking and then they have like a minority of people who are spending a ton of money who'll drop like 50,000 euros at Gallery Lafayette at Louis Vuitton or we'll drop like 100k at Cartier at, um, at, at the Gallery Lafayette or at Print Tom's, wherever, right? So I feel like the essays in department stores, they don't mind. If you tell them you're just looking, they don't really care. Whereas I feel like at standalone boutiques, they have really high sales targets because the traffic is very different. So they are very keen to know if you're buying today. That was the feeling that I got about that boutique. So I think if you want to browse and just look around at Cartier, I wouldn't go to this particular store because they will definitely um, want to figure out if you're buying or not, to figure out like how they're gonna like serve you, if that makes sense. I think if you just wanna look around at Cartier on bits and pieces, I think you should go to the department store. So. Gary Lafayette, Le Bon Marché, um, and Print Arms. I think that it's just going to be a much better experience, in my opinion. You know, I remember once seeing someone talk about getting skull dragged at the Cartier Boutique at um, Rue Francois Premier, which is very close to Big H George Sank as well. And she had walked in there and said that she wanted to get her ring cleaned, but she didn't want to buy anything. I mean, I'm sorry, boo boo. You are going to be skull dragged if you go into a freestanding Cartier boutique and ask to have your ring cleaned and not buy any items. I wouldn't do that. I would make sure I buy something because that's not your home store. If it's your home store, it doesn't matter, right? Anyway, so talking to the SA, I'm telling her what I'm interested in. I said, I want to see the Love Collection, Bracelet and Rings. I want to see the Juston Coup Collection, Bracelet and Rings. And I want to see the Pave Love Bracelet the, with full diamonds. She was like, with full diamonds or partial diamonds, I said with full diamonds. I've never tried that piece on. It's one of my holy grail pieces and I'm very, very, very interested in it. And she was like, um, okay. And then, but then she doesn't bring it out. <laughs> so she brings out like initially first she brings out like the Juston Clue ring with, with the diamond head. 
Um, and then she brings out, um, and, and they're, they're so strategic. They bring out like the most expensive pieces. <laughs> Cause you know, like the Juste en Clou ring, there's like the thin one. That's like, a, I think in Europe, it's like a thousand four hundred and forty and euros. And then there's like the, the normal size one, the regular one, which is like 2000. No, I, I don't remember the exact price. It's like 2000 something, whatever. So she brings out like the one with the diamond head, not even just the normal one without like diamonds. She brings that out. She brings out the pave love ring, which is so beautiful. That one I think was in rose gold. You should have seen it, like I said, in the footage. Um, she brings out the white gold love ring, which I was so shocked at how much I liked it because I'm definitely someone who's more of like a rose gold, yellow gold person. I just think it looks nicer on my skin tone. I think white gold can make me look cold. I don't know how to explain it, but I was so impressed. I thought it was such a pretty, beautiful ring. I mean, ring. And I was like, wow, it's so gorgeous. I think she said that one was like 8,000 something. So at this point, I'm trying the pieces on and then I see the thing that I want to buy. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to buy this. So you can put this to the side. And then when I said that, that's when she was like, oh, okay. Like then she started to kind of warm up a little bit. Cause hither to that point, I was taking pictures and filming videos because obviously I have a shopping vlog I want to share with you guys but I just kind of felt like she was kind of like eh you know she I don't know I, I was telling my husband like you know she it just kind of felt like she didn't really feel like I was there to buy something maybe she judged me I'm used to being prejudged in luxury stores so I don't take it personally because people see me they're like oh she's not gonna buy anything well I, I mean I'm not gonna like waste your time in a freestanding high-end jewelry store and not buy something. I wouldn't do, me personally, I'm not going to do that. Like if other people want to do that, that's cool. Department stores, I'm going to browse, yeah, and look around. But in a freestanding store, I'm definitely going to buy something. So then she was like, so the item that I said I was going to buy, I was like, okay, you can put that to the side. I'll, I'll buy this. And she was like, okay, great. And then she, I was like, can you bring out the, um, I was like, can you bring out the Pave Love bracelet, which I requested at the beginning, so I wanted to see it. And she was like, oh, yeah. Let me. She was like, sorry, you know, they're like different sizes because she had taken like the measurements of my bracelet. She was like, I wasn't sure if I had seen your size back there. I'm like, go away. You did not look for the bracelet. <laughs> so bring out the bracelet, boo-boo. Bring out the bracelet. It's like in The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Release the hounds. Bring out the bracelet right now. Okay, so she brings it out. I try it on. You've, again, you've already seen it in the footage and presumably by the pictures. I don't know how I'm arranging the pictures for this um, audio portion of the video, but I was absolutely gagged. I mean, it was just such a beautiful piece. I mean, it's one thing to see it in pictures. I've always thought it was a beautiful piece and one of my like holy grail pieces, but now it's the number one luxury piece I want to buy for sure. Um, it's leapfrogged ahead of other things, which I'm interested in because I've been looking at like Audemars Piguet watches, um, and there's something else I've been looking at, but I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I, I really need this. Like I need it. So I tried it on. It's quite heavy at first when you try it on, but then after you get used to it, um, I think it, you just get used to it. Like it'll be fine. But there's something about the heaviness that to me kind of lends itself to be it being such a luxury piece. It is absolutely stunning. The price she told me was 47,900 euros and you get 16.67% back in VAT for the Pave Love bracelet, the full Pave one. And then for the item that I purchased, it was 12% um, back. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just tried it on. I was like, oh my God, I was like, this is so beautiful. She was like, what do you think about it? And because I had said I was purchasing that other item is that she brought out the Pave piece. And I think this is because of bloggers and influencers and creators, um, respectfully, um, coming to stores to film shopping videos, but not to buy anything. So I think that they are very careful about who, like they're careful about like the way they allow you to try things on, particularly if you have your phone. I mean, I had my phone. I didn't ask her permission to film. I just did because I just feel like I'm buying something today. So I'm going to film and take pictures because I want to, right? I didn't take pictures of her face or anything. It was just obviously of my hand. But I do think that bloggers and influencers, um, and of course I'm part of this world as well, that that's absolutely fine. Um, have definitely made it, I think, a little harder because they're quite suspicious. And I think in general, there are a lot of people that go to that boutique to waste time. 
So after my experience there, I bought the item. And then after, like, after I buy it, she's like super smiley. She makes my profile for me. She's asking me where I'm from. And then she's like really curious about me and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And then she's like, enjoy your time in Paris, blah, 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 whatever. And then I leave. And when I leave, I was thinking about this when I was heading back to the hotel. I was like, they definitely get a lot of time wasting tourists and they get a lot of influencers and bloggers who go there to film videos, but not buy anything, right? Um, and I think like that could maybe be playing a role because maybe she thought, oh, she just wants to try stuff on, but she has no intention of buying. So she was kind of like, mm. she wasn't trying to show me things. Like she was only showing me what I requested. She didn't show me like Panthea. She didn't show me other things. And it's only when I said I was going to buy that piece. I was about to tell you guys what I bought. <laughs> it's only when I said I was going to buy that piece that she she was like, okay, let me go let me go get the Pave Love bracelet. And she brings it out. Um, I think it, I think I think I tried on the yellow gold one. She was asking me like what other things that I like at the brand and stuff like that. By the way, I really like the the fully Pave Justin Clou bracelet, which I think is something like I think in euros it's like fifty. No, I don't remember how much it is in euros. It's, it's more than fifty thousand euros. Um, I think that one is also really gorgeous and beautiful as well. Um, but yeah, so that's like my number one holy grail piece. So that was the experience of um going to the Cartier boutique, um, on the Champs Elysees. Um, would I go back to the store? Um, yeah, I would go back to the store. It's quite calm. It's quite quiet. I was, I was, I went towards closing time as well. Um, well, not towards closing time. I think they have like two hours left. Um, I think it's a fi perfectly fine. I would go there absolutely. I'd go there with Edwin. I'd go there with my husband. Um, but I think I, 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 I would only recommend you go to this boutique if you are going to buy something today. Um, and I think you might have a better experience if you make an appointment because I think I think that they, uh, there was just this kind of vibe I got from the store. Like they're a little bit suspicious of people who are dropping in. Like people who are just casually dropping in are not going to buy items. And people who have appointments will buy items. I mean, obviously that kind of makes sense as well. The reviews on Google for this location are a mixed bag. Some people have had great experiences. Other people have moaned and said they've had bad experiences. So yeah, I would only go here if you are buying, you're certain you are buying something. I wouldn't go here to be like, let me see if I like something and I'm not going to buy anything because I feel like you're definitely going to be made to feel like oh, okay you just wasted my time boo -boo, having me try on like having me give you all these things and you didn't buy anything so I think it's something to know I can imagine the targets for that location have to be insane so I I respect people's work and this is someone's livelihood so I'm not there to waste anyone's time but at the same time it would have been nice to see other like cool things because um you know you have to try these things on they're very expensive like the pave love bangle it's 47,900, like I said. The Pave Justin Clou bangle, I, 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 don't, I don't know why I can't remember how much that bloody thing is, but I think, yeah, it's more than 50K. I mean, together, that's like, you know, 90, more than 97,000 euros on bracelets. Like if you put both of them together individually, it's still a fantastic sum of money. So I think it's okay for someone to say, hey, I want to buy something, but can I try this on as well while you think about it? I don't think that makes you, I don't think that makes me a time waster because I still bought something. So it was just an interesting kind of thing. So it was just interesting. I was just telling my my dude about it. And he was like, it's funny how she showed you the really, really expensive piece after you bought something. Or after you confirmed you were absolutely buying this. I was like, yeah. So anyway, that was my experience there. Would I go back there? Yeah, sure. Why not? I, I don't take these things personally because as a businesswoman, I understand that people, these businesses exist to make money. And I respect that. But I just thought it was really telling that they are very clear, like at the when you enter, like, okay, so you just want to look around and you're like, and you're like, oh, I want to try something on. Okay, what do you want to try? Like you haven't, you haven't even sat down and seen anything to try on. So you're going based off what's in your head. But, but also that ability to be like, hey, what about the, you know, what about the like Panther line? Or what about looking at some of our watches? There's none of that. Cause they want to be clear that you are buying something today and not a time waster. So that was the experience. Um, so it's just something to know. I wouldn't go there to browse Glamazons. I, I don't think it's going to be a warm experience. But I think if you're buying something, it's it's fine. Um, it's fine. So I have a lot of other things I want to buy from Cartier. So I think Cartier is a brand you'll be seeing more of on my channel moving forward because um, there are other things that I want to buy. Um, so I'll be trying out other boutiques wherever I am in the world. If there's a Cartier boutique, if I want to buy something, I'll pop in there and have a look. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. I have another video tomorrow, I believe. I won't have a video Monday and then on Tuesday I'll have the Big H 
um, Paris Storytime. And then on Wednesday, I'll have the Carti unboxing. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, turn on notifications, find me on Instagram, join the email newsletter. God bless you guys, and I'll see you very soon in my next video.